Good morning, Fit Fam. Thanks for tuning in on Mary's Kitchen. We are on location at Fruit de la Vie with owner Jolene Opina. Jolene started juicing since 2013 for herself and would post on Facebook what she was eating and juicing. Soon enough, friends and family were ordering juice cleanses from her. It got so big that she couldn't operate at home anymore and soon enough opened to her storefront in October of 2019. Please follow me and let's welcome Jolene. Hey guys! Hi, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming in today. Yes, thanks for having me. Welcome to my kitchen. It looks great. Thank you. Do you want to wash your hands first yes, and we'll get yes. started? Always wash the hands. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Hi, I'm Mary. Hi, I'm Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Nice to meet you. All right. Always make sure you wash your hands. I'll meet you over there. Okay, sounds good. Here you go. Thank you. It's for you. All right. So what are we making today, Jolene? We're making vegan salad rolls. Oh, okay. We're going to be using organic tofu for our protein. Mm -hmm. And with the sauce, we're going to do, I know you love peanut butter. Yes. So we're going to do a peanut butter hoisin sauce. Oh, wonderful. And okay. a little bit spicy with a okay. kick. So let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. First, we're going to start off by marinating our tofu. That's okay. the first thing we want to do. And here we're using organic firm tofu. Okay. It's really delicious. Um, you want to definitely marinate it to get more flavor since we're to using be firm? plant based. Yes, because um, if you use a softer tofu, mm -hmm. what will happen is it'll get crushed in the roll. I see. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to pass me the paper towel over there? Oh yes. Yeah. Angeline, how did business start? Uh, basically, I love to cook, so I'm just such a foodie and. I honestly just eat everything and to the point that I ate everything that I needed to do a detox. Okay. So that's how I started juicing. Like I started getting this small juicer right. and I didn't know what I was doing. My juices tasted awful, but I put anything and everything in my juices mm -hmm. and eventually came up with like a cleanse program. So, and I kind of like just opted into plant-based. Okay. Just Naturally, I liked it better. It made me feel light. It made so, you feel better. Yeah, it made me feel a lot better about myself and lighter, more energy. So we're gonna slice the tofu just in like strips like that. Not too thick, not too thin. So you started juicing to feel better. Yes. Because you you were a foodie. <laughs> I ate a lot. I ate like who doesn't eat, right? Yeah. I eat a lot too. And in Winnipeg, honestly. We eat at every single restaurant, right? Um, and I'm Filipino, so mm -hmm. I love to eat meat. And that's part of the culture. The Filipino it is. culture is yeah. you come over and then you're always greeted with food, right? Exactly. I know that's my experience for sure. What do you like to eat? I eat everything too. You're the same. I'm <laughs> like, you're I just like same. me. I, I don't, it doesn't, I say, I don't say no. Me too. No. Like, why would I say no? Especially for desserts, right? So it doesn't mean that I eat a lot of it, but I like to you try have a to lot try. of different foods. Yeah, so exactly. For sure. So I got to the point where I didn't feel very good. My digestion was just off, and I just leaned towards plant-based eating, and it definitely helped me. Mm -hmm. um, and with juicing, it basically you get all the nutrients in, and yes. um, you give your digestive system a break, right? Which is really nice. Um, and did you find that it helped with your, your skin and yes. your hair? Yeah. Okay. It helped with my skin, just mental clarity, mm -hmm. and just my energy was just really, really high, so. And what was the first juice that you came up with? Probably the down to earth, the green juice. So we're gonna start off with a marinade. We're gonna do, um, do you wanna measure? I'll sure. tell you and you can measure. Okay. We're gonna do one tablespoon of sesame oil. I love sesame oil. It gives it that nice flavor. That nice nutty taste. Mm -hmm. All right, so one tablespoon. And we're gonna do two tablespoons of soy, soy sauce. sauce. I love soy sauce. I know, me too. And I love this brand. So secret ingredient is agave. Oh, really? Yeah, so we're gonna use uh, organic agave. Oh, this is still sealed. And that's gonna give it that nice sweetness so it will balance off the salt from the soy sauce. And how much? Just one tablespoon. One tablespoon? Yeah. 
Perfect. And we're just gonna stir it all up. You can use the oh, same. Oh, stir it up? Okay. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, and then we're gonna add a splash of water. It smells good already. I'm just gonna, I'm just behind you here. Sure. Just a splash of water. Just to thin it out? Yeah, just to thin it out. And then we can lay the tofu on the marinade. Just flat? Yeah. All right. And we can even like flip it over after. Oh, yes. I see. Perfect. This is what's gonna make the tofu really flavorful. Because often people don't eat tofu because they say it's bland, but the secret is to marinate it. I love tofu. And this is a really good quality tofu. It's silky and firm, perfect for salad rolls. And is it just one one layer or do you put all of the tofu? We can do in? all of it. Okay, let's do that then. Oh. Alright. We can just like even layer the ones that are marinated already. Oh, you mean like put it on top? Yeah. Okay. It's delicious. <laughs> and um, what I found out is eating raw mm -hmm. actually is really beneficial for our body. Because you're not, bur you're not um, cooking off the nutrients. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna move on and make the sauce. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start off with hoisin sauce, one third cup. I already pre-measured it. Okay. So one third hoisin sauce. Yeah, and we're gonna do one third cup of smooth peanut butter. Does it have to be smooth? You can do chunky if you like the texture, but okay. I prefer smooth. Okay. Um, try that. And this is natural. Ooh. I've never actually worked with natural for a dipping sauce. Yeah, this is really nice. It's from Bulk Barn. There you go. Okay. And that's it? And we're gonna add a little bit of our favorite ingredient, <laughs> sesame, sesame oil. oil. Just one tablespoon. And it has a pretty strong flavor. It does. And we're gonna thin it out with a little bit of hot water. Okay. Uh, just, I believe. Just a splash or? Um, we'll do like one third cup one third and we'll, cup? we'll go from there. All right. One third cup of hot water. There we go. We can actually use a whisk too. Oh, okay. I'll make things a lot easier. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the consistency already. I can smell the hoisin sauce. Yeah, it's it so yummy. really good. RJ loves this dipping sauce too. He's always asked me to make him the sauce because he loves salad rolls with the sauce. Aww. So we're gonna add just a little bit, maybe two little teaspoons of, this is garlic chili. You can add sriracha. You can omit it if you'd like, if you don't like spicy. I actually like this garlic chili sauce too. It's really good. It actually has a flavor. I mean, I like mm -hmm. sriracha, but it just has a, a hot taste, no flavor. Yeah, we'll add a little bit more water just more to water? thin it out a little bit. Yeah. Just a splash? Yeah, just a splash. Perfect. And that'll be our sauce. It smells delicious. Mm -hmm. In All the right. store, we use almond butter because a lot of people are allergic to peanuts. I so see. We, we opt for almond. Did you always make salad rolls at home? Yeah, I actually love salad rolls. Okay. It's just so filling and you can get everything in. Like, sometimes I don't like eating salad all the time. Exactly. So we're gonna make the noodles. This is really neat. So you don't have to boil it. You just add hot water mm -hmm. and it keeps its shape. Oh. We're gonna make some of those. I didn't know that. And where can you purchase these? You can purchase them at any Asian stores. And then do you wanna pour some hot water? Sure. Just to cover it. Just let me know how much. Sure. 
just enough to cover most to cover of it. it. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough. Yep. What's your favorite veggie, Neri? Um, I love lettuce. I yes. love green onions. I love cilantro. Oh, good. I love cucumbers. We have them all here. I have, you know, I grew up on salad rolls, so I oh, love good. everything that you have here. I'm so glad. So we're going to use cilantro just because of the flavor content, yes. right? So I love the aromatics and the flavor that cilantro gives. We're going to do green onion just to give it that tang. Okay. Um, we're going to do like strips of green onions. Mm -hmm. There are some people that don't actually like cilantro. Um, apparently, it tastes like soap to them. Yes. So I'm so glad that I don't have that. Um, <laughs> yeah. That I don't gene understand. that makes it taste yeah. like soap because cilantro is just so popular in Asian foods. I love veggies. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, we're gonna do red cabbage. Okay. Here, we're just gonna take this out so it's out of the way. Red cabbage, cucumbers. Do you like bell peppers? Yes, okay. love it. Perfect, and carrots. So you can see the noodles are starting to turn white and they're starting to get a little bit loose. They're not as tight. That's when you know it's almost ready. So maybe another 30 seconds and then we'll drain them. Okay. And if you can just put hot water in here for the salad rolls. Hot, in hot there? water, yeah. All right. How much hot water do I put in? Uh, just, just to the top here. To the top. All right, I think so these noodles are ready now. They're nice and soft. And I just put it over here, Jaleen? Yep. Yeah. So that'll help drain it. I see, so it's not too soggy. Mm hmm Okay. And is it just one flat layer? No, oh, you can layer them up. All right. Okay, Neri, I'm gonna teach you how I roll the salad rolls. Okay. So first you're going to take a rice paper mm -hmm. and you have to make sure the water is hot but not boiling. Okay. And just dip it. And that's it? That's it. Okay, let me try. Be very gentle with your paper. All right. Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay. And what I like to do is start off with the lettuce. The lettuce will hold everything in place. Okay. And just one half? Yep. Yeah. All right. And then we'll do the noodles. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give this to you, Jaleen. Thank you. you. Can tell me. Just lay it flat. All right. You can honestly do it however way you want, but this is how I like to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do two pieces of tofu. And then we're gonna add the veggies. All right. So we'll do the red cabbage. I love red cabbage. It gives it that nice, nice crunch. crunch. Yes, and I love the color. Mm hmm Cucumbers, because it's super refreshing. Also the crunch. Mm-hmm. And then we'll do red bell peppers. Red bell pepper strips. I love this also. I love the color. And we'll do carrots. Okay. And we'll add some green onions. Yes, you can't forget the green onions. And cilantro. For me, I love cilantro, so I put extra. Yes, <laughs> I was just gonna grab some more too. You can actually leave the stems on. Mm -hmm. The stems gives it that nice flavor. And if you want, you can even add hot sauce inside. Oh, That's also okay. optional. Yeah. So what I like to do is take this end here and kind of tuck everything in. I roll it over once and fold the sides. Oh, geez. I think I stuffed mine a little too much. <laughs> That's okay. We have lots of rice paper to try. Keep trying. Just make sure you tuck everything. Oh, no, I did it. You did it. You got it. Looks good. Perfect. Not too bad. <laughs> and what I like to do is I like to take the extra lettuce and just wrap it like that. Okay. And I'll just get more here. 
just to hold it a little bit more. Yeah. And we'll do that too. Okay. And there we have a beautiful salad roll. And then, so nice. So we'll try it with the sauce. I love the garlic chili. It adds a nice texture to the sauce. It's not too smooth. so good. It smells so good. Okay. And that's how we would serve it. Just like that. Mary, we're going to make the pineapple glow. It's one of my favorite juices. Um, it's cold pressed juice. It has pineapple, green apple, red apple, and mint. Okay. And pineapple. And um, basically it's a really good cough syrup alternative. So mm -hmm. if you ever feel like an itch in your throat, pineapple juice is the way to go. Really? Yeah, it helps with your digestion. It's really good for protecting your cells as well. Okay. So Aileen's gonna demonstrate how we make the juice using the cold press juicer, the X1 by Good Nature. You know, I didn't know that this, that pineapple juice will actually help with that tickle in your throat. Yes. I always have that tickle. Yeah. Not recently, but I always have that tickle, so. I was always just having honey, but I didn't know this would mm -hmm. help too. It's a great natural cough syrup alternative. Okay. And if you don't want to take meds, or if for your kids, you know how kids can't have cough syrup? Yes, yes. Right? So I give it to my kids. Good to know. Yeah. Okay, so Aileen's going to show us how to use the X1 Good Nature Cold Press Juicer. grind it first through that hopper and it'll go in the filter bag and it'll press afterwards and I there's see. about 2,000 pounds of pressure 2,000 pounds of pressure mm -hmm. oh my goodness yeah. and it keeps it cold press meaning the juices aren't heated um, the blades don't um, they spin so fast that they don't even heat the produce so okay. it keeps it raw so that, that that's what cold press means mm -hmm. pretty much okay did not know that either Okay, so I'll show you how to do it first. So usually okay, I grab like pieces of pineapple and then I just grab like the little apples. Apples? So this way it doesn't get stuck. And then I take and then I push it. Oh, you push it in. Yeah. <laughs> Can you I do it? Yes. So, okay, let's do it. So just grab these two. Okay. Just dump it in? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh! Okay, oh! oh yeah! Grab some apples. Okay. Oh, oh, my face? Yeah. Oh. And if you want to try to push it? Yes, yes. You have to like push pretty hard. So. Okay. Good? Oh. Okay, I think that's good. Oh. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Oh, the mint. Yeah. All of it? Yeah. Okay. That's so
So you want to get all the pulp in the press bag. That way you can get all the juice out of the pulp, out of all the produce. So this is before we actually press it. So now we're gonna activate the press and it's gonna activate 2,000 pounds of pressure and it's gonna extract all the juices from the pulp. Now we're going to bottle the juices. Um, we have to make sure we mix it every third bottle, okay. just so then the pulp settles evenly after bottling. I see. Do you love the smell? I love the, the mint. Pineapple. I think this is just yes. a great idea. I it's like to really see good. what I'm eating, yeah. so to have the mint there is brilliant. It's a really good combination. Mm -hmm. Yummy, Jolene. Thank you for having me. I meant to ask you, why is your juice bottled in glass bottles? So we bottle in glass, first of all, because it keeps the juices colder. Okay. And it tastes much better. Um, with plastic, it leaches a little bit with the juice, so we definitely don't want to bottle in plastic. Right. And also, we want to be able to reuse our bottles. I see. So we it's better for the environment, too. It is. And we have a bottle return program as well that we have going on in store. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And where can our viewers find you? They can find us at 1853 Portage Avenue. And we're also on Facebook and we're also on Instagram. Okay, wonderful. Thanks guys for tuning in on Mary's Kitchen. And Thank I'll you. See you next week. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Now. This looks so yummy, Jolene. <laughs>